Hey guys, good morning and welcome or welcome back to the IC Cinnamon channel. Today's video is a daily routine on a school day. Every day is a little bit different, but I just got downstairs, it's about 8am and let's go. The first thing I do is of course give them a morning treat. As you can see here, Pokemon is separated from Moshi and Coffee, and that's because they were fighting quite aggressively a few days ago. Now for their medicine or supplements. If you've seen my morning routine video last year, you know it's for preventing recurring bladder stones. All the piggies have gotten really comfortable with getting the supplement. I mean, it is strawberry flavor after all. Good job. Feeding Kobe is still a little bit of work, but seeing that he doesn't run away anymore when he sees the syringe is a big step already. Now I'm gonna refill their hay. Oh, and by the way, we did change the hay container from a cardboard box to this plastic container with a lid. It just keeps the hay more fresh. And yes, we have a huge bottle of hay here. And that's just half the size of how big the hay was before we used it. We still have a couple more in the garage because the guinea pigs are so delicious. Okay, I'm going to school now. See you later. I come home at about 3.15 and after I snack, I get the piggies and go to the piggies room. First things first is another tree. And I'll start spot cleaning their cage. Take the hideouts out. As you can see, I'm using a pink container from a dollar store to put the poop in. The guinea pigs love coming over and check out what's happening when I clean. I'm using puppy pads and newspaper bedding on top. We use fleece liners too, but it depends on the weather and their preference. Meanwhile, let me fill you in with the whole separating situation. So as you know, the guinea pigs fought, but mainly Mochi and Kabi ganged up on Pokor. When the guinea pigs first met, Pokor became the top pig. But now that he's getting older, sometimes Mochi and Kabi would want to be the leader. And so they fight. On the other hand, they're still good brothers and really enjoy each other's company. We're just separating them for a little while for them to cool down. Right now I'm cleaning Pokemon's inside of the cage, scooping out the spots with pee and poop. A lot of times, guinea pigs like to pee on their hay and make it as a bedding on top. So yeah, it's a waste. Let me know in the comments if your guinea pigs do that too. When I finish spot cleaning the potatoes cages, I usually end up with this much waste. And they all go into the compost bag. Yes, we have one solely for the piggies' waste. Let's shred some paper. We have a lot of boxes and papers to shred to make paper bedding. And it's not only good for the environment, but it's also really cheap. We just make sure that one, we have a mix of harder and softer paper to maximize the absorption, but also for the piggy's comfort. Two, the paper must be safe for the potatoes. And three, wait for the dust in the paper to settle first before putting them into their cages. We'll be layering some pet store paper bedding on top very soon, but if you want me to make a video about paper bedding versus fleece liners for guinea pigs, please let me know by liking this video. Water bottles. Just quickly take them out, wash, and refill. We have four water bottles, but I'm only using two for now. If you want to know what water bottles, pages, or products I'm using for my guinea pigs, I put the links in the description, so feel free to check it out. I'm sorry, 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 bye bye. Now, even though Popcorn's cage is right next to Moshi's and Coffee's, it's still important to keep Popcorn active. Now, a few years ago, it might have been easier to train Popcorn in so much different tricks. He is a very intelligent pig, but now he's getting older and is retired from doing any harder tricks. Plus, he knows that as long as he completes the trick, no matter how leisurely or slowly he does it, I would still reward him. So, yeah. By the way, if you want to learn more on how to bond with your guinea pig fast, I made a video on exactly how to do that. The link is also in the description.
Before I go to sleep, I go to my piggy's room one last time to check up on them and give them a good night treat. We are a family of four, so you can imagine how many morning treats and good night treats the potatoes get in a day. I also refill their hay once again. The good thing about being a co-parent of the guinea pigs with my little sister is that we can rotate days to clean the cage. If I don't have time to cuddle or play with the piggies for as long, my sister can do that and vice versa. Watching and filming the guinea pigs who don't have a care in the world is also one of my favorite calming things to do. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!